All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. All three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing a spectacular mystery novel that I have rediscovered. I mean, I read this once long ago. I just reread it again. And man, was this a work of sheer literary brilliance. It is In the Electric Mist with Confederate Dead by James Lee Burke. This is book number six in his Dave Roba show, Louisiana, New Orleans mystery series of you know, murders and stuff like that. Dave Robichaux solves murders. He's the main character in this series. I've got the entire James Lee Burke mystery series over here in my library. That is it right there. There's a whole bunch of them. That's the entire collection. There's a lot of books in that collection. I don't know how many, maybe like 25 to 30 in the series. And I am now rereading them. And reviewing them for the channel and here we are number six in the electric mist with confederate dead first of all probably one of the coolest titles of a book in my entire library if not everybody's library um this is the first well let's talk about the cover first because you know i love graphic design and cover illustration so this has kind of got an interesting old timey cover you know we've got uh, it says it's an illustration by an artist named mark taus t-a-u-s-s it's pretty decent. I mean, it's it looks like electric mist with Confederate dead. Um, it's a ghost story, really. I mean, most of the James Lee Burke, Dave Robichaux mystery novels have a hint, just a hint, of the supernatural, which is cool. They're very, uh, not quite X-Files, but not quite ghost stories. They're just, it's just a hint and a touch. This is the book that probably plays that trope a little bit more than the others. This is this is the book, if you're reading, if you've read books one through five, you might not get the hints of the supernatural. But this one bludgeons you right over the head um, with it. It is, it's about um, electric mist and Confederate ghosts is what it's about. So um, it's the most obvious book. It's the most obvious example of a Dave Robichaux mystery where the supernatural is central to the plot, even. Okay, so Dave Robichaux is a Louisiana policeman. For, through the first five books, he's had an up-and-down career. He's an alcoholic. He gets fired. He gets rehired. He gets shot. He, he uh, adopts a daughter. He, there's a lot of stuff going on in the first five books. If you want to see those reviews, I've done a review of each of the first five Dave Robichaux books. If you want to watch those first, that's fine. If you just want to watch this one, that's cool too. Anyway, so Dave Robichaux, he's back on the police force. He's driving home from a murder scene of a 19-year-old girl. A very gruesome murder scene. One of the more gruesome ones he's ever seen. He's kind of off duty at this point, but he ends up seeing a car acting erratically on the road. He, dr he pulls it over um, to give him a drunk driving ticket. Turns out that the driver of the car is one of the most world-famous movie stars in the world, uh, and his girlfriend, who is also a world-famous movie star, and they are shooting a film in the Louisiana bayous, and that's why the, the movie star's in town, along with his girlfriend. And in fact, the whole movie production's in town. Dave Robichaux knows this is going on. He knows about the big film being shot there and people spotting the movie stars. Well, now he's pulled the guy over for drunk driving. And the guy's name is Elrud Sykes. And his girlfriend, the movie star, is Kelly Drummond. And um, they're both high and they're both drunk. The girl is kind of mouthy. Um, Elrud, the, the guy, the movie star, he's kind of apologetic. He's just like, please don't. This is going to ruin my career. I don't need this. And he's kind of trying to talk Dave out of the drunk driving uh thing uh, you know don't take me to jail anyway dave's gonna take him to jail because dave is just like he doesn't like drunk drivers but anyway before he gets him to jail the movie star confesses hey out on the set in the bayou i went i stopped you know we stopped filming for a minute i walked out into the bayou a ways to take a pee 
and I seen a dead body. And uh, I just wanted to report that. Maybe, and, uh, maybe, and, uh, maybe you'll uh, not... Maybe if I help with that investigation, you will um, uh, not charge me with drunk driving. And, and Dave's like, you're not going to bribe me. But he's curious about the dead body because he's just come from one murder scene. And now he's hearing about another dead body. So he asks the guy to describe it. And the guy's like, well, it's just kind of bones and tattered clothes. But there's a chain wrapped around the guy's, around the skeleton in a really unique way. And that's when Dave Robichaux gets, and this is stuff is, everything I'm explaining, it's, this is not spoilery. It is basically all explained right here on the jacket. So it seems like I'm going into a lot of detail. This is the setup to the whole thing. This is the setup to a more major plot, which I won't spoil. Long story short, in 1957, when Dave Robichaux was just a youngster, he witnessed a murder out in the bayous where a young black man was tied up with a chain exactly the way this movie star described. Now, Dave Robichaux went to the police and said, hey, I've seen this murder, but nobody seemed interested in investigating it at the time. So Dave Robichaux thinks that this murder from 1957 and the dead body just found now are the same person. And he's going to be vindicated in his, um, you know, because nobody believed him back then. Anyway, this movie star also asks Dave if he sees Confederate soldiers in the bayous. He's like, I, I see Confederate soldiers, like literal. He's like, I don't know if they're play acting. I don't know. Well, the thing is, is Dave throughout his life has also talked to ghost-like Confederate soldiers. Thus the title. Thus the supernatural twist. These two characters sort of bond over this, um, their shared alcoholism and the seeing of these Confederate ghost soldiers. Um, and then we've got the other plot with the serial killer who's killing the teen prostitutes. Um, we've got a new FBI agent that joins the force named Rosie Gomez, who uh, Dave has to kind of work with. Then we've got um, Jolie, uh, Julie Baby Feet Balboni, who's a great character. Um, then um, the, movies, the movie production itself has a lot of people involved at the movie production that are not cool. And there's a lot of surprise twists and turns and a lot of surprise killings in this I, I didn't see coming, even though I read this a long time ago. And there's a movie with starring Tommy Lee Jones uh, that I watched a long time ago. I just didn't remember much of the story, but it is almost the perfect murder mystery. It is so beautifully written with so much wisdom in, in the pages that just Dave Robichaux and even the movie star and, and, and some of the other characters, in the, especially the Confederate dead, who the one of the gen, General John Bell Hood is the Confederate general that speaks to Dave Robichaux. Anyway, just it's a brilliant mystery, supernatural mystery, um, ghosts, or are they not, Garth? Is this just dreams? Are, this, are these characters just conjuring this? And I mean, is it mental illness? Is it drunken stuperness? Is it just... Yeah, there's a lot of questions in this book. And uh, that's all I'm going to tell you about the whole plot, because it's way more complex than I described. But it's just an absolute perfect book, and I gave this a 10 out of 10.